now let's create the improve your skills section so let's create another component so inside the component folder we're going to click on new file and let's call it improve skills section so then we're going to say export default so export default function and the name will be improve skills and as always for testing we're going to simply return a simple text so let's use a div so we're going to say div let's say hello and let's import it in our app component so in our app we're going to say import we're going to import improve skills from components forward slash improve skills dot js or you can leave the extension it will still work okay so after the hero section we'll have our improve skills section so we're going to say improve skills like so save in our project now we have this hello okay let's go to our index.scss let's target our section so here is our section so let's say all of our section will have some margin on the bottom so we're going to say margin bottom of let's say 1 em let's see um, more than one let's try 3 em actually let's try it viewport width that way it would be more responsive so 3 viewport width and for now let's keep it we'll change it if needed okay let's see in our hero section okay let's go to our hero section for reference and we can copy some of this so let's copy this control c close it and we can paste it here control v so we don't need any of we don't need the paragraph text the button will say sign up let's see yeah it says sign up now so we're going to type that so let's say sign up now then we can copy this title also so control c and paste it here control v and for this one the class name won't be hero let's call it improve skills okay and then we won't have this gallery section so I'm going to cut this and give it a separate class name let's give it a class name of image okay but in this section we'll have image on the left side and content on the right side so let me cut this so control X and we can paste it here actually not here and we can paste it here control V and here we're going to have an image so let's use an image tag Okay, let's try to use this 10th image from our gallery which is this one okay so we simply have to say forward slash img then forward slash gallery and then img underscore 10 dot jpg so img underscore 10 dot jpg save it and here is our image and here is our section okay let's style them so okay this one has class of section and improved skills so let's copy this control c let's go to our index.scss and we are going to paste it here so control v okay before we do anything here let's clean up our file one more time so let's cut all of this these are for our hero section so control x in our partials we are going to create a new file so we are going to call it underscore hero section hero dash section dot scss like so paste it and again save it and then we can import it in our component so we're going to say at import we're going to import partials for slash this will be our hero section so we're going to say hero dash section save it and everything still works the same okay now let's tell our improve section so in our improve section we have a image section let's see yeah a column with a class of img so let's do that so we're going to say dot call for column dot img the image column let's target the image inside that so the image will have a width of 100% save it and now the width is fixed and the next one is the typography so let's again copy this control c go to our index.scss so let's say dot call then dot typography this one will have some padding on the left side so we're going to say pl for padding left 
and let's try 1 em and 1 em should be good enough and then we'll have this list so for that i'm going to create an array so we're going to create an array so we're going to say const let's just call it list it will be an array and you can simply copy stuff from here so i'm going to copy one at a time so control c control v and let me do this for all of them okay i have copied all of them so now we can use it so let's use the loop here so we're going to say list dot map we're going to get our item and index and let's try to return something so we're going to return a div actually let's just return a simple paragraph text that would be enough so the queue will be index and then here we'll get the item save it and now here is our list okay let's give them a class so we're going to say class name equals to and the class name can be let's say skill item like so let's copy this so control c like so save it go to our index.scss and let's target our skill item so first of all they will have some border on the left side so we're going to say border left the left can be let's say 0.5 em it will be solid and the color will be our primary color of course so we're going to say dash dash primary color it will be var dash dash primary dash color like so save it now we have this border let's also add some margin so we're going to say margin bottom the margin bottom can be let's try 0.5 em so let's say 0.5 em let's see okay 0.5 em might be good this one should be let's say 0.2 em it will also have some padding on the left side so we're going to say padding left of the try 0.5 em like so okay this is even thinner let's see what can we do so let's try just 0.2 em and yeah point 0.2 should be good enough let's also add some padding on the top and bottom so we're going to say padding equals to the top can be let's say 0.25 em the right can be zero the bottom will be again 0.2 em and the left will be 0.5 em save it and this is how this looks like let's see okay let's try just 0.1 em and yeah 0.1 em should be pretty close let's also say they will have a color color of color light so we're going to say var and here we're going to say dash dash text dash light like so and we're also going to say font weight to bold so font weight equals to bold save and this is how they looks like okay we also want some margin on the bottom so let's target the button and this will have some margin on the top so margin top of let's try 0.5 em let's try 0.75 okay let's just try 1 em here so 1 em save and i think 1 em is good enough okay our pa padding here is bit too much compared to here so let's try to change it a little bit for now later on we'll make it responsive so don't worry there okay and now it is looking pretty similar to what we have in our finished project not exactly the same but should be good enough our h ones are too big so let's try to make them smaller so in our section the title the font size can be let's say 2.5 em and the font weight can be 900 so let's say font dash weight equals to 900 like so and now it is a bit closer to what we have in our finished project again not exactly the same but should be good enough you can play with it okay let's just make it 0.75 back so 0.75 em okay now we need to create this animation so as you can see our items comes one after another so here we're going to so in our css let's go back go to the skill item and here we're going to give them an animation so we're going to say animation equals to the duration will be again we are going to use our get duration function let's say 0.5 second and the name will be slide in right so slide so this will make them slide in from the right side so copy this control c and we're going, we're going to have to create this function so for that we are going to go to our animations and then we are going to say add keyframes and we called it 
slide in right so we're going to say from so it will say transform it will translate x to 100 percent the opacity will also be zero so we're going to say opacity equals to zero and then we're going to say two the transform is going to be translate x to zero and the opacity will be one save it let's go here click on refresh and they comes like this and we want them to stagger so one should come after another so let's do that so here we're going to say by default all of them should have a transform of translate x so translate x to 100 percent and the opacity will be zero also so opacity equals to zero so now we are going to have to say our animation fill mode will be forwards so here we simply have to say forwards if we do this and save it nothing should change yet as you can see everything works the same but now we should be able to use some animation delay here so again we are going to use a for loop so we're going to say at four and then we're going to say dollar i from one two not three we have one two three four five six elements so we're going to say six actually we can start from two since we don't want our first element to have any animation delay and then we here we have to say hashtag calibrate so hashtag calibrate inside that we can say dollar one for the animation delay we can simply say hashtag calibrate dollar i times point one second save it click on refresh okay it's we don't want this as here let's try it one more time save it click on refresh let's try to say one two six save Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try seven here. Save it. Click on refresh. And now everything comes one after another. Let me try make this two back. I think our original one is a bit faster. So you can make it point three. Play with it. And yeah this should be good enough and i think that's all for this tutorial and in the next video we're going to create this quote section and after that we're going to create our top shift section so i'll see you in the next videos